Today, I got a Ram 7 best class setup for you guys. It was a grind trying to level this up all the way. As you can see, it's level 64, and that is the max level that you can get it to in order to unlock all of the attachments. Now, you do unlock this at tier number 30, so it is quite a grind to be able to unlock this. The Ram 7 is a pretty decent gun. I would have to say it's a lot better than the Holger 26, and I think a lot of you guys can agree with that. So, of course, I wanted to do some weapon testing at 5 to 25 meters it's a four shot kill uh, which is not too bad it's almost on par with the m4a1 i did some previous testing with that when the game first dropped then at 30 to 45 meters it's a five shot kill at 50 to 70 meters it's a six shot kill it's definitely a viable weapon and you can certainly compete against the likes of the m4 but i will have to say that the sprint out times are very slow in this weapon you will quickly notice that you can't really rush around with this weapon as well as you would want to because of the ridiculously slow sprint out times now the other thing about this weapon that you're going to notice is that when you're engaging in long range gunfights your weapon is going to be swaying a lot because of that recoil so it's best to put on some attachments to counteract that so for the muzzle i'm going to put on the compensator like i said this gun has a lot of recoil naturally and you're going to find it really hard to lock on the targets when you're engaging in long range gunfights and the pro is recoil control now it does have two cons of aim down sight speed and aiming stability first of all you don't got to worry about aiming stability that's literally when you're just aimed down sights and your weapon has a little bit of sway but that's barely noticeable at all and you shouldn't need to worry about that now the aim down sight speed we do have plenty of attachments that do counteract that and there's no need to worry about that as well right now all we're focused on is the recoil control now as you can see the ram 7 with no attachments you can see that the recoil goes up into the left now if we put on the compensator it's really just going to stay at one point consistently and that's why i like putting on the compensator it will really help control that recoil now if you want to give the absolute best recoil reduction as possible on this weapon i would highly recommend putting on compensator plus the ranger under barrel so that one is definitely going to minimize that recoil as much as possible if you're more of a reserve type player and you want to play at a distance then that would be the setup for you but if you're just more of an aggressive player just put on compensator and that should do just fine from short to mid range gunfights all right so moving on to the barrel so i got on the f tech 13.5 inch compact barrel this one is a short compact barrel which sacrifices accuracy and range for speed and agility it improves combat in tight spaces the pros are aim down side speed as well as your movement speed this weapon is a bit slow and clunky so putting on this attachment you'll definitely notice a difference in your aim down side speed as well as your movement speed the cons are bullet velocity and recoil control but we don't have to worry about recoil control because we did put on that compensator so it totally negates it but the bullet velocity you don't need to worry about that as well this gun already has a naturally fast fire rate and it's barely noticeable in gameplay as well i still drop my enemies fairly quickly and that's what i really like about this weapon right here now as far as this attachment goes it does say that it sacrifices accuracy and range for speed and agility so that tells you right there that if you're more of an aggressive player if you play from close to medium range this shouldn't even affect you at all so that's why it's important and really pay attention to the pros and cons for each attachment so that you can use the weapon to its fullest potential so that's something that you got to take away and remember with this class setup immediately we're moving on to the attack laser so this one is also going to help improve our aim down side speed aiming stability and aim walking steadiness now one thing i will say about tack laser is if that you're using this attachment specifically you got to make sure that you're not just aim down sights down a long line of sight for too long because what happens is that your green laser is going to be visible to enemies who are passing by the area and that's going to ultimately expose your location you want to play a little bit more aggressive you want to take the gunfight to the enemy as much as possible that way you can minimize being seen with your green laser so always keep that in mind so for the stock i'm using the xrk close quarters stock now we do have a couple other attachments here however i feel like the aim down side speed is the most important thing when it comes to the ram 7 like i said it's got a really slow sprint out time so when you want to use this weapon you want to make sure that you're jumping around corners while you're simultaneously aiming down sights and you're going to quickly notice that the aim down side speed is a night and day difference versus when you don't have these attachments on it and that's where this gun really shines when you're stacking all of these 
these attachments that increase that aim down sight speed you're pretty much going to have cracked aim basically now the con is aiming stability and like i said don't really need to worry about that too much that's just when you're aiming down sights and you got that idle sway when you're just aiming down sights and that's not something to worry about as well especially with how i just described how you got to use this weapon for the purpose of maximizing the overall mobility and speed of this weapon while you're using it especially when you're playing more aggressive then this is the attachment that you want to go for for the final attachment i've got the stippled grip tape this one is a must-have i use this on almost every single class setup that i have if this stippled grip tape is available first of all it increases your aim down side speed which again of course we're trying to stack our aim down side speed pros as much as possible with every single attachment that we have and most importantly it increases that sprint to fire speed now like i was saying earlier this gun naturally has a very slow sprint out times now even if it does increase your sprint to fire speed i would still recommend to be ready when you're turning around those corners or when you know you're about to approach enemies just be ready to aim down sides don't try to sprint into it thinking you're gonna win gunfights just because you have this attachment on and it's just super important in helping lock on the targets so much quicker all right so that's about it for all the attachments i'm using on this weapon so i'm moving on to my secondary i'm just using a handgun here i don't really turn to my secondary too often the only times i really do is when i'm out of ammo but usually i'm always loaded with ammo because i use the scavenger perk which we'll get into in a little bit so that's why i don't really need to use the handgun now the only time i would really switch to my secondary is if i'm out of ammo and i don't have time to reload my weapon and it's critical that i switch to my secondary in order to win that gunfight that the enemy is trying to challenge me in so that would be like really the only time so long story short use whatever secondary weapon you want to use it's all personal preference use whatever you feel like using all right so moving on to perks my perk setup is always usually the same i always run perk specialist bonus number one because i feel like i survive a lot longer and number two i just feel like kill streaks in this game aren't really worth grinding for because of how easily they can be taken down so this is just my personal preference and why i use the specialist bonus perks just having all those perks unlocked in the game including the recon and the sleight of hand weapon perk that you do get additionally it helps definitely keep you alive a lot longer and give you the upper hand against opponents so for perk number one i'm using eod because protection against explosives and fires are really important in this game since i'm running around the map a little bit more and i do encounter a lot of proximity mines and claymores and occasionally c4s being thrown at me EOD saves me a bunch of unnecessary deaths and that's why I highly recommend EOD. So for perk number two, I'm running Ghost. I never ever run without Ghost because of how often enemies call in their UAVs, especially if you're playing against parties, you definitely want to stay as stealthy as possible. So Ghost helps you stay under the radar and not visible on an enemy compass and that's super essential and important in order to stay alive a lot longer. So perk number three, this one is dependent on what you're using and I'll get into that in a little bit for the main part i do use tracker really often only reason why is because of my play style i like to flank i like to run around the map stick to the outskirts so when you're doing that you're most likely to come across a lot more enemies now the mini map doesn't work the way that it used to be so intel is everything and being able to see enemy footprints is going to give me an advantage in helping locate where potential enemies could be and it'll also show you where enemies last were so all you got to do is literally follow those footprints and it will lead you straight up to the enemy now don't go following footprints blindly of course you got to assess the situation because you could be leading yourself into a trap where there's multiple enemies just waiting for you and you could find yourself in a tough 1v3 situation and that's not always fun so always be smart and methodical with your approach tune up is another great perk three to have especially if you're running the dead silence field upgrade now the thing i will say about dead silence is that once you put that on and you use it in opportune times especially when you're on a longer streak it'll keep you alive because enemies are not able to sound whore your footsteps and we all know how loud the footsteps can be in this game and it's just so annoying now when you run in something like dead silence and you combine that with tune up you're able to earn your dead sounds field upgrade that much quicker so moving on to my bonus specialist perks the other thing i have to say about hardline is some of you guys were saying that oh why are you using scavenger first at two kills when you can use hardline at two kills and earn your scavenger at three kills First of all, this is just personal preference. I'm a situational player. It depends on the weapon I'm using. If my weapon has very low ammo capacity, I'm most definitely gonna run the scavenger perk first to get at two kills. I tried using hardline first. I found myself without ammo for quite some time because sometimes you don't hit all of your shots. So I would rather go on having scavenger 
moving into the next gunfight with more confidence knowing that i have more than enough ammo in my reserve to be able to take on the next person that's why i like getting scavenger at two kills now for the sake of the gameplay in the background i did use hardline just to try it out because you guys are leaving suggestions and all that stuff but ultimately at the end of the day it's all personal preference and it comes down to what kind of weapon you're using and what kind of play style you like to play if you use hardline at two kills versus four kills you're still going to get your specialist bonus perks at seven kills regardless you're still going to get your battle hardened at five kills regardless using your hardline at two kills versus at four kills makes absolutely no difference in how quickly you earn your final specialist bonus perk before you actually get your specialist bonus so i just wanted to put that out there man that's my reasoning behind it and i hope that makes sense to you guys all right so moving on to my lethal always running around with c4 i find this very helpful especially since i'm running around i'm playing a little bit more aggressive i like to use it especially in situations where i'm in a 1v1 and a guy is behind a wall that i can't see and we're engaged in a gunfight if i just toss that sucker over that wall and detonate it i'm able to get that easy kill and he's not going to expect that at all or if people are capping the flag just throw it on the flag detonate it you're going to get an easy double or triple kill if you're lucky or just toss it in a window where you see people can all the time and that's why i really like c4 it's very helpful in so many different ways it's very convenient that's why i love running c4 all right so moving on to our tactical we're using the stim shot again for the same reasons this is for the aggressive type of players out there use it in ideal situations it's very useful in situations when your screen gets very red and you're about to die it'll definitely take you out of really sticky situations or it will help you get back into the gunfight a lot quicker and ambush the person you're going against all right and that about wraps it up for today's video let me know down below in the comments if you do enjoy the ram 7 if you felt like it was worth the grind once you do unlock these attachments it's definitely competitive against the m4a1 so of course if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to drop a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on notifications so you'll never miss another video from me and i will see you guys in the next video peace